Hello, I'm Dr. Al Hasen. You might know me from such science videos as sewage, don't touch, and the tulip is our friend. Today I'll introduce you to important concepts that you should be familiar with before taking flight. There are two kinds of flight, aerostatics and aerodynamics. Aerostatics is lighter than air flight, and aerodynamics is heavier than air flight. Let's first focus on aerostatics, or lighter than air flight. This type of flight includes such aircraft as hot air balloons, like this one, and dirigibles. Dirigibles include non-rigid airships, such as blimps, and rigid airships, like zeppelins. Hot air balloons, blimps, and zeppelins are all aerostatic because they are buoyant in our atmosphere. Buoyancy is the ability to float in a fluid. A fluid is anything that flows, and since air flows, it is considered a fluid. Archimedes Eureka! was the first scientist to describe the concept of buoyancy. He hypothesized, or guessed, that some substances would float better than others due to their densities. The less dense an object is compared to air or water, the more likely it is to float. The more dense an object is, the more likely it is to sink. By the way, density and volume are words you should know. Density is the mass of an object divided by its volume, and volume is just the amount of space inside an object. Uh -oh. Now let's talk about aerodynamics, or heavier than air flight. If an object is aerodynamic, it is subject to the four forces of flight, lift, drag, thrust, and weight. In order for flight to occur, the lift and thrust forces must be greater than the forces of drag and weight. Let's look at how airplanes move in different directions. There are three axes of rotation on an airplane. The lateral axis, the vertical axis, and the longitudinal axis. When the airplane rotates about the lateral axis, the nose of the aircraft points up or down. This is called pitch. When the airplane rotates about the vertical axis, the nose of the aircraft moves left or right. This is called yaw. Roll left or right occurs when the airplane rotates about the longitudinal axis without changing altitude or direction. There are many words that a pilot must be familiar with before taking flight. The heading of an aircraft indicates its direction. The altitude of an aircraft is an indicator of how high it is above sea level. A pilot must always check his or her altitude during ascent or going to a higher altitude and descent or moving to a lower altitude. The ceiling of an aircraft is the highest possible altitude at which an aircraft can fly. The range of an airplane tells the pilot how far he or she can fly before running out of fuel. Uh-oh. Payload is the weight that an aircraft can carry, including passengers, crew, and other cargo. Uh-oh. Let's review. There are two types of flight, aerostatics and aerodynamics. Aerostatics is lighter than air flight, like seen in hot air balloons and blimps. Aerodynamics is heavier than air flight. Airplanes are an example. Remember, <coughs> in the words of Carl Sagan, somewhere, <coughs> something incredible is waiting to be known. <coughs> Keep searching. <coughs> Uh-oh.